everyone, it's Crafty Mom with three sets of twins and a cat named Moonshadow who always entertains us every day. I just want to thank you for coming by and watching my video and my crafts. I hope that you will subscribe, like, hit the notification bell because Moonshadow and I would love it. Thank you and continue to watch. DIY number one. I'm trying to get this Waverly chalk paint open. Oh, and I got it open. I'm painting this beautiful orange flower and I'm painting it in gray of the Waverly chalk paint. You know, I've seen these flowers everywhere. You can do so much with these. Everyone, they're a dollar. You should go get one. They're made out of metal. You can do so many pretty things with them. Yeah. And then I'm going to try it with my heat gun. Going to try to get inside. You can bend those up and get inside because they do bend. This is a, a really um, thin metal. And you can actually bend them up and get them. Okay, I went ahead and did some black paint on top just to stress it or give it more dimension. I'm going to be using this pretty little frame from Dollar Tree. I'm going to take some construction paper and just glue it to the back of the cardboard that comes in the frame. Just something simple and quick. That doesn't cost a lot of money. Okay, I'm using my famous glue stick, which I love using because my fingers don't burn. And it's nice, it works perfect. And I'm gonna put that back in the frame. So I'm just pressing around all the edges to make sure that it doesn't pop back out. And now I am using the super glue. No, actually I'm using E6000 that I had the small tubes, which I like better because it doesn't dry out as fast. And I'm going to glue this beautiful gray flower with some black in it to this frame. I love the dark with the dark. I just think it looks very... Um, romantic sort of you know what I mean it's like it got a depth to it and it says to begin each day with a grateful heart on it I am going to use some jute cord and I'm going to glue it to the back of the board trying not to burn my fingers and I've got my little one from the Dollar Tree which is like in the makeup section. I use that sometimes to put on mask on my face because Dollar Tree has some wonderful dollar masks. I mean a dollar. I think the cheapest you can get it at Walmart is when they're on clearance for two or two fifty but they're normally like three or four dollars so Dollar Tree has them for a dollar. And now I'm just taking the jute cord and wrapping it around the edges of the frame. I'm going to make sure that I can pull that little flap out so I can stand up by itself. And then I'm going to cut it off and glue it right there.
And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I love how this turned out. I just think it's really pretty. Stands up to, and it just will look good on anybody's like dresser or bathroom counter. Look how pretty that turned out. There's a little bit of a string from the glue, which I should have pulled off, but there it is. All right, DIY number two is I'm outside and I've got this Rust-Oleum cement paint and it's supposed to like look like cement but it's more like a gray supposed to have the texture of a cement but it really did not have the texture of cement so it was more gray than anything And then I have this gold metallic paint and I'm going to just spray the top of it. I love the way this turned out. It looks very high end. And I also did this other one earlier. But these turned out great. Aren't they pretty? And now the way the lights shine on, they both really do look a lot alike, but you can't tell it with the light shining. But I love the way they turned out. They're very high end looking. All right, DIY number three. I painted the balls black, but I didn't tape it. I, well, actually, I thought I taped it. I thought I had my tape, my phone in one hand and spraying in the other hand, but it was pretty loopy, so I couldn't really show it. But I spray painted it with a black, flat paint from Rust-Oleum. And now I'm going to glue it to the bowl. So there are two bowls. And this bowl that you're looking at right now is a glass bowl. And the other bowl is from, I guess, where they have the little wedding stuff, all the little plates and everything. It's a plastic bowl. And I just spray painted it black because I needed that round bowl. I have another one coming up soon that's going to be a different shape that I'm also going to paint black. Now, I love the way this turned out. This looks, oh, see, mozzarella sticks. I was trying to cook at the same time, and my mozzarella sticks exploded in the microwave. Yeah, so try not to cook and actually craft at the same time. But my kids ate it, so it didn't go to waste. <laughs> All right, there's the black bowl. It's nice and sturdy now because I left it for a few hours. I love that this looks so like artsy and high end. I've got this bag at, let's see, I got this at Ross for $6.99. Yeah, oh yeah, $6.99. I love the colors blue in it. So I'm filling this bowl 
with all this little decorative items. And this looks so pretty, guys. It's a quick and easy, and it looks very high end. All right, there's the two little faces with the ivory flowers. I think that turned out so pretty. And there's my little metal flower with the glue string hanging, which I need to pull off. And look how gorgeous this bowl looks. Is this not very artsy looking? It's very modern. So listen, thanks for watching. I hope you will subscribe and hit the like button and notification bell. And we will see you on the next video. We love you. Have a great day. And remember to always be kind to each other.